Hi right, guys, here we are, MMA UK News. Obviously myself, Stoomboy, as always. Usually for the MMA UK BJJ show, but today we're talking MMA. Um, so uh, it's going to be Evolution of Combat 11. Evolution of Combat 11 is going to be Saturday, the 19th of February. So next Saturday, going to be at the usual place, the Mary Hill Community Halls. Uh, doors open, I believe, about five-ish. Um, so first fight is, is very punctual, so the first fight, as soon as they announce when that first fight's going to be, that'll be exactly when it's going to kick off. Um, now, in regards to tickets, guys, there is no tickets available. Uh, you might be lucky. Some of the fighters might have some ticket availability left, but uh, there is no tickets. It is completely sold out. So stop messaging Dan Hope. He doesn't have any. All right. So the only place you are going to be able to see it is uh, pay-per-view. So head on to the Evolution of Combat Facebook page. Uh, takes you through to livemma.co.uk. Uh, you'll be able to order the event, so £9.99. Um, so, yeah, pay-per-view is available for this one. So so get yourselves booked in for that. Uh, going to be a great night. Obviously, we've got grappling to start with, moving into uh, to Muay Thai and kickboxing, and then rounding the night off with, obviously, the uh, MMA fights, as they normally do. Now, my next guest is going to be on the show that night, so... Crown and Glory MMA's Adam Thompson is going to be up against uh, the Grip House or Inverclyde BJJ's King Onion, James Kemp. Um, so, again, that's a debut for both of these guys. Um, so, again, this promise to be a good one. Obviously, I've heard a few good things about Adam. Uh, so, definitely looking forward to seeing what Adam's going to bring next Saturday. So, Adam, what's an absolute pleasure, buddy. How are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. So yeah, you just uh, you talked there. You were you before we went live. Just finished your last training session or last kind of sparring session. Mm. So how's everything been going for you training wise then? Good, mate. I've, uh, I've trained hard past like six months. Um, just ever since kind of restrictions ease, I get back into the gym. So it's been a long time coming. Just kind of want to get in there now. It's been there. Yeah. Um, I did have a fight booked before the year, but it fell apart. So. This is a this is the one next week. Yeah, how's it been? Because obviously I know that I've spoke to a lot of people, and obviously the last kind of eighteen months, two years has been absolutely horrible for anybody yeah. who's training. So, um, but obviously now two thousand twenty-two, the this is going to be our year. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have a full year of everything, fights, grappling competitions, and stuff like that. So, I mean, what was the what was the last kind of eighteen months, two years like for yourself, not being able to train properly? Um, well. I probably went the wrong way when I, the gym shut down. I just kind of got fat, uh, which is also the wrong thing to do. I should have been yeah. out running, doing sprints and stuff. Um, but as things ease back up, I got back into the gym more. Um, and also classes started. So I was just doing anything I can once I yeah. kind of got back into the routine of it. Because uh, yeah. as you know, once you follow the routine, you end up... Uh, it's hard to get back. Yeah. It's hard to get back hard to get back time. into it. Yeah. I know myself, I do jiu-jitsu, and I say I've not really been training properly. Obviously, we went in a lockdown, we were training solid before it, and then the lockdown came, and then now it's just finding the motivation to get back. Obviously, you think to yourself, well, I want to get back, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But the hardest part, as everybody knows, uh, is actually getting to the gym. Once you're there, you're uh, absolutely so. fine. Um, so how do you keep the motivation going in regards to the gym? Well, for the past... You know, a few months has just been for this fight. Um, you don't want to... It's a horrible feeling thinking that your opponent would be is out there somewhere, you know, yeah. at working you, doing more yeah. work than you. So that motivates you enough. Obviously, it's... As every other fighter knows, or people that compete, it takes up a lot of time in your life, but you just got to do it. It's, yeah. it's just a yeah. sport we're in, so... Definitely, definitely. And then, obviously, Evolution of Combat 11, then. So that's going to be your amateur debut. Um, we, we talk a lot, I mean, obviously... <laughs> Even though it's your amateur debut, I mean, fighters probably 10 years ago might not have had the same, obviously, training partners and stuff like that that we do now. Obviously, you, Crown and Glory, have, have got a, a number of kind of high-level guys coming out of Crown and Glory. So, um, so even though it is your amateur debut, I mean, you're going to be training your ass off and you're going to be working with the best guys. So, mm. I mean, is that something that you feel yourself? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've... Uh trained for a few years now um when i first started i wasn't the most committed to it you know it was more of a hobby but obviously as you get more into it uh it becomes more than a hobby 
and I get the chance to, you know, train with Chris Duncan, Adam Bartley, um, we use tons of guys to name in our gym, lots of experience. And then not just obviously Chris brings experience on a, you know, on a worldwide level now, fighting in Bellator yeah. and all that. So it's, it does build your confidence up because if yeah. you're going and doing training with those, those kind of guys, you know, it's getting you ready for the local circuit. Yeah. Is it important then to have people like that around you? Because as, as I mentioned, maybe 10 years ago, to have a fighter that was in a, a kind of top, like a UFC, or mm. obviously things like a Bellator and stuff like that, um, you might not have had the ability to train with these people 10 years ago, but now there seems to be obviously more and more top guys out there. So it's important for you to surround yourself with guys like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, even with the going to other places to train as well, just on gym, the past few weeks I've been through to, um, for the their stand-up sparring with yeah. John Cullen. Uh, so getting rounds in there, it's just all, it's much, if the more you can train with people that are more experienced, you know, it's the better. I mean, even yeah. though you're getting, you're getting loud half the time, but it's good for in the long run. Um, yeah. It all comes together. Yeah. And I think that's the thing in Scotland at the moment. I mean, Scotland as a whole, we've got a number of guys all over Scotland, all the way from the north right down to south of Scotland, where these guys are out there doing their thing. We've got UFC fighters, we've got fucking Bellator fighters, cage warriors, yeah. and so on. So um, I think at the moment, Scottish MMA is at an all-time high at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I think this is probably the highest it's ever been. You know, yeah. we've got guys that are competing on you know, most shows in the world that are, you know got the best of the best there's definitely yeah. it's doable you know it's not like a if you live in scotland and you want to get to see it's a it's not an unachievable dream like you can get there yeah listen we're shite at football and rugby but we're absolutely brilliant at fighting <laughs> well we do no bad so far today in rugby no bad but, I think well, i've not even got it on I had the telly on i was going mm. to watch it but i've not even turned it on at all so uh but listen we're absolutely Fucking top drawer at fighting, so uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. Um, and then, what about Evolution of Combat Eleven? And how did the matchup come about for you? Yeah, so I've been uh, I've been to a couple of those shows now. Me and another boy actually, uh, Connor Yusuf, his last fight because yeah. uh, Adam was in. Uh, I think he was in America with Chris yeah. for his contender series. So I've been there, seen a the show, and that's a really good show. Um, yeah. And then also. They wanted Yusuf on the card, so Adam put my name forward as well. And then uh, yeah. we got a match, and that was it. You know, here we are. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you've been in the Mary Hill Community Halls then, so you know the atmosphere, you know what it's like. Mm-hmm. Um, so, obviously, for anybody that's never been there, tell us what's, what it's like for you, especially with you walking down with Yusuf and so on. I mean, what, what what's the atmosphere like for spectators and so on? Yeah, well, it's a great atmosphere. You know, it's, uh, I think for myself, I get quite nervous even just being there just especially when it's someone else you know it's fighting yeah um, you know you think fuck why did i pick this sport you know could have been playing tennis or something but <laughs> um for the fans as well it's i always love going to fight shows especially if you're having a drink and you're in the, yeah. you're in the crowd it's great great atmosphere yeah. and you you'll see some people get knocked out you know choked out yeah. it's a it's a fun of it yeah what do you get do you get more nervous yourself going out there or more nervous when you've got a teammate going out there uh, probably the teammate. Um, well, yeah. I'm yet to find out, but it's uh, it is nerve wracking. Even you know, watching uh, like when Chris is fighting, yeah. if you're watching it online, you know, it's just because you're there's nothing you can do. It's like it's all it's all under their hands now. But yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a weird feel. Nah, but listen, we're looking forward definitely to seeing you next week. I say I've heard a lot of good stuff about you. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you next Saturday. Um, so what about you then? So 2022, as I mentioned, is going to be it's going to be our year. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of events coming up. Hopefully, it's going to be a full calendar this year. So anything that you're looking to do then? So obviously, this will be your main focus. But mm. what, what are you looking to do going forward to 2022? Well, so right now, this fight next week. So I'll really think about, it. and then after that. I just want to try and stay active, build yeah. some experience, and uh, not fall back out of it. You know, once you get the momentum going, I have a couple of fights and I have another fight. You know, I think at amateur, it's not really about, you know, you know, fight twice a year. You know, you've got to, yeah. this is your time to get the experience. Like yeah. a lot of boys in my gym have done. 
and um, hopefully get a few fights in Scotland, England, wherever it is, just gain the experience. And Because uh, I could leave the end of the year, you know, four or five fights, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, listen, we're looking forward to seeing you, as I said, next Saturday and what you're going to do for the rest of the year as well. So, um, And then, final thing for you then, anybody you want to shout out to. So, the list will be long, I'm sure. Um, so, uh, but yeah, <laughs> any friends, family members, teammates, things like that? Well, the list is never ending, you know. i got all my, my coaches, Adam, Chris, my teammates as well, Adam Bally, uh, Yusuf, Scott Drummond, Paul Story, and Declan Laffrey. There's, a, there's too many. I've probably missed a couple there. But also, also my mates as well. I mean, it's one English sport is you spend so much time training. You don't get to see your mates that much because, or even my girlfriend. Um, it's just everyone else makes a wee bit of sacrifice as well. So everyone around you counts. Also, my family as well. Putting up with me when I'm crabby as fuck. So I can't eat pizzas. I can't eat ice cream. But uh, everyone, yeah, everyone around me. What does the family and friends think then? So, obviously, you going out there and doing this. I mean, what, what's their thoughts on it? Obviously, they'll be 100% behind you. Yeah. Well, 100% behind me. I mean, my mum, she's she's not going to be there. She won't watch it. Uh, yeah. But my, my dad will be there. Uh, lots of my friends coming, family. Uh, everyone supports you. Some people think it's a bit... Obviously, you talk to some people and think, oh, you're mental. <laughs> like, why would you do that? But, <laughs> but that's like, there's still a bit of a... People look at it as a, you know, just two guys getting in a cage and scrapping, but it's a lot more than that now. You know, it's yeah. came a long way. It's a proper, legit sport. Um, yeah. So I hope I'll get to show that next Saturday. Yeah, we did saw that. We saw that last uh, last uh, Evolution of Combat Nine at Mary Hill Community Halls. I was sat when Yusu was fighting. I was standing next to his mum, and his mum couldn't watch it. She had her back uh, to the the cage, and she was. She was obviously like, every time something happened and the crowd went, oh, she was like, what's <laughs> happening? What's happening? And I'm like, no, no, he's winning. He's doing all right. Like <laughs> so so it's a tough one for mums. It's a tough one for mums. But I as you mentioned, them. it's a proper sport. Do you know what I mean? Like you train mm. for this. Um, it's the same as fucking running or football or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. You train specifically for this. So, um, And there's a lot of stuff involved in it now. I'd say years ago, it was it's two guys. So much. Yeah, years ago it was two guys went in a cage and beat the shit out of each other. But now there's 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 a lot to it, science and fucking mm. mate, hundreds of stuff involved in MMA now. So, um, but no, listen, we're absolutely buzzing to see you next week, Adam. So there we go, guys. Adam Thompson, crowning glory MMA is going to be up against James Kemp. Um, fight card still to be announced in regards to the mm. order and so on, but that should come out probably at some point. Uh, this week, so we'll be able to see where Adam is on the card. Um, so that's going to be Evolution of Combat 11, Mary Hill Community Halls, next Saturday, the 19th of February. So, uh, no tickets available, so get yourself on the Evolution of Combat page, uh, get that pay per view. I say 9 99 it's definitely worth it. I mean, there's a lot of fantastic matchups on this, which caters for everybody grappling, Muay Thai, kickboxing, obviously MMA as well. Uh, so yeah, Adam, what's an absolute pleasure, buddy, to have you on. Class, bitch. All right, well, listen, enjoy the rest of your training. Um, and I'll see you next Saturday, buddy. All yeah, right, mate, I'll see you next Saturday. Nice one, take it easy, mate. You too, mate. Bye.